yeah, obviously we were very disappointing in the second half last week, and what a way to come out against you know the arch rivals Collingwood and and uh, bounce back. And if we can uh, get our hands on that trophy at the end of the game, uh, it'd be pretty special. Outside of the of the final, ninety thousand people at G, it doesn't get much bigger than this, does it? Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, it'd be really good for the group to get uh, the atmosphere in the ground, and I hope all the all the members can come out strong and united, and uh, we can put on a good show for them. Ross, so you've lost um, uh, weight during the week as well as now Jameson out as well. Are you confident there won't be one side of the field? Collingwood in such good form. No, I don't think so. We're really looking forward to the challenge. Obviously. Uh, Jamo and, and Wadey are big outs, but uh, we're really confident uh, the depth in the groups there now and the guys that come in and fill those roles, we expect them to perform. So, look, they are big losses, but uh, very confident we can uh, fill those shoes. It's a great history between Carl and Colin. Was anyone in particular coming to speak to the group this week about that, or is there anything in particular you've done this week that's a bit different to, to usual? Uh, I don't think you really need to. Um, that sort of fire in the belly just naturally comes to you during the week knowing you know you're playing a Collingwood that uh, that rivalry's there um, you know it'll be full on from the from the first bounce and uh, yeah I don't think you don't need to get motivated uh, too much more than to play for this trophy and, and a guy like Dick Pratt. How will you replace Wayne at this stage? Um, yeah I think there's an extended squad at the minute so um, I think they've got match committee today so they'll uh, they'll you know it's going to give a couple of guys opportunity to uh, step into that role, um, and whoever gets the nod, um, you know, it's up to them to make the most of it. Have you had another look at that the 28 point loss earlier this season to Collingwood, and, and are there any lessons from that that will be helpful this week? Yeah, well, I think uh, we played some really good footy in that game. Um, I think we matched it with them for three and a half quarters. It was uh, just a patch in the second quarter where they kicked about four goals, and we couldn't seem to uh, bridge that gap in the second half. So, um, you know, I think going into the game, statistically through contested balls, tackles, um, you know, loose balls, we're all, uh, we're all pretty even. So, um, look, I don't think it's anything to fear at all. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll take some stuff that we used on them last time and hopefully we can, uh, you know, not switch off for that half a quarter because if you do, Collingwood are a very good side and they can really, uh, really hurt you. Is that the sort of mindset you have to go into the game with, that there's no fear that you just have to be prepared to take it on? Well, definitely. You know, we've got nothing to lose. Um, you know, they're such a great side and, and they're setting the bar so high. And, you know, I don't think many have tipped us to, to win this week. And, you know, we're fine with that. Um, you know, like I said, we're confident in the depth that the group's got now. And um, we're really looking forward to the challenge and, and we need to bounce back from, uh, from last week's performance. Is that belief a key message of uh, Rats this week on the back of your loss from the weekend? You know, I heard him speak on Monday night on one of the programs and said, you know, they will lose, roll the dice, and you know, they should be fit for us. That was sort of his message. Was that what he's been saying this week? Yeah, I mean, we're going to come out and play some bold attacking footy, and like you said, and Rats has said, we, we have got nothing to lose. Um, and I think we can take some confidence out when we have had losses in the past, um, you know. West Coast a few weeks ago, we come out and responded really well against Richmond. And I've I've got no doubt that um, you know we'll come out and, and do the same thing this week. Ross, do you think you're a better team than when you played in round three? Oh, I think so. Um, you know, it was early in the year. We uh, were still trying to tinker with some game plan stuff and and whatnot. And uh, you know, it's getting that stage in the year now where. We've really, really got a strong belief in our game plan and, and what we're doing, and we're really uh, rehearsing for the finals now. So, uh, yeah, playing Collingwood this week, it's no better better team to test your skills against. Can Collingwood be beaten? And do you think you'll be able to beat them? Uh, I think that the competition's very even. Um, anyone can win on, on the day, and, yeah, look, we're not out there to lose, I'll, I'll tell you that much. So we're... Um, <laughs> we'll be giving it everything we got and, uh, and and trying to take them on. Does your confidence take a hit? You've lost two losses in the last three weeks. And do, you, do you have to prove to yourself as much as anyone that you're good enough this weekend, sort of internally? Oh, we definitely believe we're good enough. There's no doubt about that. Um, there's just you know we've played some good footies in the it's good bit of footy in that those games that we have lost, but uh, it's just putting the four quarters together. And like I said earlier, if you 
you're lapsing concentration for half a quarter, a, a side like Collingwood scores four or five goals and they can just get out of your reach. So, you know, we've got to be switched on for the for the full game and look, yeah, we'll, we'll be ready. I know you've only played a week and played, it must be a, a, a bit of comfort going back to the MCB. You seem to play a much better football there as opposed to Eddie just a minute. Uh, yeah, it's probably a fair call. Um, you know, there's nothing better. Then playing at the MCG in, in front of a packed house, you know, rivalry as well. So, you know, we, we love playing at the G and um, it will be good to be back there. Ross, you speak about um, self-belief and you're preparing for the finals and I spoke to have self-belief, but you really have to be in the top four when the finals start. Is that the way you're approaching it? You have to make every post a winner during the home and away so that you are starting from that point in the final series? Yeah, definitely. You know, obviously, you want to finish as high on the ladder as, as we can, and our uh, aims going into this year was we have to win a final. Um, you know, sort of re reassessing that uh, as the year's gone on. There's an opportunity for us to to make the top four, and and we'll be fighting uh, and doing everything we can to to make sure we finish in the top four. If we can do that, that's going to give us the the best opportunity not only to win a final but uh, go deeper into September as well.